Hi. This is a photograph I took a week ago in the uh, in the Camel Estuary uh, from uh, Padstow, looking across the the estuary towards Rock and the Rock Golf Course. It's a fabulous place. And this bit here goes to a, a sand bar called Doom Bar, and there's a very lovely beer named after that, brewed in Rock, and it's going all over the country now. It's a very very lovely lovely drop of beer. And I've, I've used a little bit of um, uh, uh, fluid, masking fluid, just, just to keep the areas where I'm going to put these little boats in, just indicated. And the houses here from, from Rock, Rock is a very, very expensive area. We call it Kensington on Sea um, for good reason. That and very lot of rich people would have frequent that particular place. A friend of ours had a hotel there, but it wasn't on the front. It was back in land about a mile, but uh, they're not there now. And I, I, the, the photograph I, I framed between between these these shrubby trees. Along here, there is the uh, what was the Padstow to to Bodmin railway, which was dismantled years ago under big major railway cuts, um, and it's now tarmacked over, and is a, a very very lovely bike ride and pedestrian walk uh, way up you can walk right into Bodmin if you wish and you can cycle to Bodmin and you can hire bikes on the way but it's a lovely lovely spot and it was a lovely day when we were there I've got lots of these pictures so I'm going to have a go I'm going to have a go at this I'll take you back to the piece of my, my board I'll uh, zoom you out a little bit and we've got the right they can see, as usual, I, with these sort of views, I try to just do a, a bit of a, a bit of a rough sketch, just to indicate where I'm going to put the washers. And here I've got my little boats, just, just, just as a resist to the, to the paint. So that when I when it's dry, I rub it off, and we'll see what happens. Distant um, hills. There are some very good painters of this area, especially in oil and acrylic, because these flat, when the tide's out, these sort, these sandbars, sand flats, are really beautiful and pristine, I would say. And across here, there's some there's some seaweed banks. A lot of sand fire grows here too. So. Usual spin round the pallet. My tray is split now. Look, I keep dropping it, but it's very old. And I tried to get a new one from a local Chinese supermarket called Wing Yips, and I bought the last one and gave it to a friend. Should have kept it for myself because they haven't got it anymore. But anyway, here we are lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine. Can you see that? Ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and as an extra, burnt sienna. But I love burnt sienna, and, and I use it quite a lot now. But burnt, burnt umber is, is, very, is very good mixed with the raw sienna for, for doing sand, beaches, and so on. Um, there's a lot of raw sienna on here as well, so I'm going to wash over with that. The two-inch hake, a rigger, which I might use or might not. Um, and a couple of acrylic flats, which are which are designed to be used with acrylic paint, but they're very good for straight edges and lifting out their watercolours. Paper is Fabriano, 130 pound weight. It comes in blocks of 100 from art discounts. I'm not getting paid to say that. But it's just a good way of buying it. But it's not really suitable, I found, for painting straight onto. It's a bit too slick for that. But when you wet it all over, the paper expands uniformly. And while it's in that wet state, you can you can do what you like with it and it, and it won't go cauliflower flowery. It's only when the paint starts to dry you have to be careful. So I've got my cup of tea there as well, so you'll have to excuse me while I I wet my whistle. But I'll uh, go over with uh, some water. It's 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 nowhere near as uh, sunny or warm as it has been. It's a bit overcast and a bit of a breeze blowing. Just cover my keypad up. 
but it's nice, so maybe the paper won't dry quite so quick as it has been drying. So I haven't I only did one demonstration over the last couple of weeks because we were on holiday in this area, Cornwall. West Cor Northwest Cornwall, Padstow, uh, Newquay, Watergate Bay, beautiful Watergate Bay, Truro, it was in the middle. Absolute glorious part of our country. Caught a wonderful fish on Wednesday before we came back to London. The four, four pound bass, sea bass, in low water, just as the tide was coming in. I'm not a fisherman really, but, but I went with a new friend who is a professional fisherman. And on the first two evenings, early evenings, we went. He caught two, two lovely sea bass. And on the third, they, I caught a big one and I brought it home and shared it with a couple of friends last night and my wife. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And I put some blue into the sky. I'm mixing a bit of a lizard with the, with the blue. Could be quite, quite wet. Well, dry, sorry. I, I mean dry, because if there's enough water on the, on the paper. So we're just making an interesting sort of sky here. Right, now, uh, with a weaker mix, I'm going to just put in, put in the, a good bit dry, but I'll just put the, no I won't, no I won't. I'll just stretch the paper. I want to put in these channels that the tide's out, a very low tide, and the channels are here, and there's one coming down here, but I don't want that to blend in, like the sky, I don't want that to blend. I want that to be quite hard, not hard, but, but I don't want it to move all over the place. And there's a bit of a channel coming round here, but I'll do that when it's dry-ish. So I'll just gently put in, using those colours, I'll gently put in the distance. Uh, inches. That one. And we'll slightly harder. There's a bit of burnt sienna in that. A bit of blue. Bit of I want this to be more obvious. Because this is all sand, sand hills here. This is the uh, bit of the rock golf course, I think. Got lost on there one, one holiday. We saw the old golfer, but we couldn't find the uh, way out of it. It's so hilly. some darker trees in there, sort of scrubby trees. Over there, yeah, over there somewhere, there's a church, I can't remember the name of it for the moment, it's an end dock, yeah, that's right, where one of our great poets was buried the love in the 20th century. And the church got covered by sand over many years. And I think the spire was anything that was showing. There's only a little, little Christian outpost there. And it got recovered. This was lovely. We went to a wedding there for friends who own this hotel. In fact, your daughter's coming to see us later. Which would be nice. Stuff in there. Now over this, there's. Uh, oh, oh, I put that masking fluid. Oh, this is a bit tree covered. There. And under that, we've got we've got this nice sand. So a bit of burnt umber in there.
sand bar can work for us here. Oops. Under that, there's that um, channel going going through there. So we'll, uh, but I want to get some darker colour in there. So I'll just use my burnt sienna and, and blue. And get quite a nice warm dark with with this. And being quite distant, the blue, the blue in it keeps it on the cool side as well. But if you go with too much burnt sienna, then you'll end up with a nice warm dark. Right. Right. No, that's okay. I'm trying to keep the recession going back. Now, on this, on the left side of the, uh, the channel, we've got some tree cover there. And we've got a rocky, more rocky here. Oh, there's a bit of uh, lemon yellow to the mix. Then you've got a bit of a tree line coming in there. And then a bit over the top there. And then we've got green under that, green field. So a lot of that's going to be covered. On top we've got a wheat field. Uh, we'll put that in. Just blend it a little bit into the so there, I can, I can strengthen that up a bit in a minute. Now the bottom here, we've, let's just, just flatten it. It's, it's growing quite considerably now with all the, the water. So pull it tight, get it nice and flat. Yeah, that's quite good. Excuse me, we'll have a little swig of tea. I'm just looking at my, my resist up there, my masking fluid, it's got a bit thick, I was hoping for some nice thin lines, but it didn't work. Right. Never mind. Well, I'll just put, I'll just put in these, um, this hedgerow. Using a bit of the hake here. Around the headland. Oh, that's the word I forgot headland. Now we've got some dark rocks and trees and stuff here. Right, let's just put those in. That did, did register there. Doing a bit of C now. It's blue, a bit of burnt sienna. There's more blue 
actually. And we've got this cross here. Get some uh, yellow back in there, some more yellow. Yeah. It's a bit too light. The burnt, yeah, burnt umber makes probably a better colour, but you've just got to use it quite weak. Yeah, it's a bit better. Mix it with a bit of gorse here if you want. I don't want too much water on the brush. It's more dry, lighter than I'm putting it on. Well, let's just bear it. There's going to be some grass in here. No grass, so you see them. Leaves and sparkle here and there. Shadows or wet sand reflecting the sky. Just put those in there. I'll have to dry a bit. Just dragging some of the paint down now with a, just, just a very dilute wash. No, no, all this is going to be covered up with uh, the, the, the tree, the trees, and the sugar tea. These, well, the, the, the uh, paintings that I've seen of the Camelestri are very, very delicate, very subtle, and they're so gorgeous. But I've always wanted to have a go at it, but I've never got round to it. Use some sparkle in this because it's a light blue and a darker blue, like a rippled blue. As, as the, the tide is still going, water is still going out. Nice and wet there, we won't say. Quite a lot of mixing of the two of the sand and the water here now. And there's a bit of a coming around there. And we'll get some more sand back in there. Yes, it is. 
Right, now that's drying off there, so let's get some uh, grasses, grass, weed. I'm putting these in this dark, so I don't know what the bullet actually is. It's just there as a dark now. It's slightly lighter. They're not so insistent dark. I'm going to I'm just missing burnt umber then, because it's close together. Burnt umber and ultramarine. There's a bit of a, an edge coming around here. Right, I'm going to let that go for a minute. I can't think of anything I, I can add to that. Okay, let's give that a dry. I think sometimes these things are, are, are better when they're not rushed. Lovely to be able to do a painting in in 20 minutes or so, but but I think I'd like I'm happy to spend a little bit of time on this. I'm still con concerned with the way I put the masking thread on there. It's not really thin enough for me to use a pen in it. But when I look at the sky. The, the, the interest really is in this landscape, is in this glorious flatness, this sparse landscape here, soil seascape. You don't want to do an elaborate sky as well as an elaborate landscape. You don't want one to compete with the other. The sky is, is just a support for the rest of it. No more. Right, now I'm going to put in these grasses. I'm going to use quite a bit of Payne's grain in these. So I'll put in some light greens to start with, but this area here is in shadow. So I'll just I'm going to leave some sparkle in this because a lot of leaves leaves catching the catching the uh, the light. Using a bit of this brush, you say you can get this random effect. It takes a bit of practice, I know. Now I've got this dark area in here. Oh, I've warmed it up a bit with a bit of red. Payne's Gray is great colour for short cutting, but you can overuse it. But if you mix it with other colours to make warm or cool darks, you get another range of colour that it makes a difference. And there's dark coming down here. Mix it with burnt sienna as well. I'm trying to vary the brush strokes here. Yeah. Uh, this is where they've got a lot of, lot of leaves that are.
that are catching the light, so they're more green in there. I can only do an impression, I can't paint every leaf. I'm, this is just a shortcut, a way of doing it. Right, now. I'll put some fronds in here. A bit more water on there. I'll add some stipple to this. Get some nice real dark in there now. We've got to make allowances for the photograph being overexposed. The of the NHS is expensive, is depth of that, I can scrape out a bit. Right, I'll clean my brush and dry it off on the rag with a bit of towel. Bit nice and dry, so you've got all these points. Just touch a little bit of water in there. Yellow and grey. Just, just add the, the foliage to this. Do this. This is where the shadows side of these shrubby trees are. Slows, Hawthorne, all sorts of stuff here. Yeah. Right, that'll do for that side, I think. Right, now we've got the uh, same on the other side, but, but nowhere near as pronounced. To put in the uh, these, uh, I'm not going to do it with the rigger. Um, just for the edge of the hike, just. Dry that off. Mm. Now, 
about this off. These are the masts. Moment of truth. Ah, oh, not too bad. That's rock. I'll uh, just do a bit of detail on there. A little bit more rigor. Um, no, not the rigor. I'll just use the half inch, the half inch flat. I'll just put some uh, shadow and roofs on them. Dark bits on the boats. Just a little bit of I hope that shows. Um, maybe if I just put some slightly darker. I think that would be good. The brush is too big now. It's uh, dark. Good grey is a, a light bit mixed with uh, with the blue. Put that in the mouth and see what it looks like. I think I made that one just a little bit too distant, but uh, seems to register. Could probably put another. Yeah, let's just a little bit of. Uh, Bit of dark on there because that is. Oops, sorry. Right, I think I'll let that go. I can't do much more to it. Just to show you around it. You can see how I've done this. Just by see the boats, the, the masts on the boat, and rock here. I'm looking at it back to front on this screen because it's upside down. Uh, right, I'll, I'll show you what I copied from. If I can find it. Sue Bass, a little bit. Well, that's what I copied. And now back up to the painting. Whoops! I'll get the hang of this one day. Hard enough doing the picture. I'll, I'll, put, it in, I'll put this in a different mouth. So it's the wrong colour. I need to do the blue one. That might look a bit better. Certainly a bit bigger. I've smudged my signature now. I have to reinstate that. That's probably a better colour for it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.